the mole concept, converting between mass and number of atoms. How many copper atoms are in a copper penny with a mass of 3.10 grams? Assume that the penny is composed of pure copper. The information that we're given is that we have a copper penny and this penny weighs 3.10 grams. And we're asked to find the number of copper atoms. In our conceptual plan, we have to realize that the link between grams and number of atoms is the mole. So we will begin with grams of copper and convert that to moles of copper. And once we have moles of copper, we will then convert that to the number of copper atoms. And we'll call the conversion factors or relationships A and B. And let's list those. Relationship A which will allow us to convert from grams to moles is the molar mass of copper. So we know from the periodic table that one mole of copper has a mass of 63.55 grams. Again, this is the molar mass of copper. The second relationship, B, is Avogadro's number. That is one mole of anything, in this case, copper atoms is equal to 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. And this is Avogadro's number. So we have everything we need to solve the problem. So we're going to begin with three point one zero grams of copper and using the molar mass of copper we'll convert that to moles one mole of copper 
is 63.55 grams of copper. Grams of copper cancel. And in our second step, we will convert moles of copper to copper atoms. So we have 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd copper atoms. per mole of copper. Moles of copper cancel. And rounding to the correct number of significant digits, which is three, we arrive at our answer, 2.94 times 10 to the 22nd copper atoms. Let's check our answer to make sure that it makes sense. We have 3.10 grams of copper which is smaller than the molar mass. Therefore, we should have less than Avogadro's number, and indeed we do. Avogadro's number is 10 to the 23rd. We have a number 10 to the 22nd, and so this answer seems to be correct.